Hey guys, welcome back to Culinary Ninja and today we are going to be making lollipops and no, I've never made lollipops. Uh, I know that it's a lot of work with sugar but it's not very complex because I've been working with sugar a little bit like you saw coconut brittle. I've also made sugar glass before but in a different way. Uh, I used, I took it to the uh, I took it to the hard crack stage instead of the one we're going to do right now. Actually, wait, no. That was a hard crack stage. So the one we're going to do today is hard crack. So, I used the old methods that people used to do when they made candies, which was dropping a little bit in the water, squeezing it with your thumbs just to see like really what stage is it actually at. It's like so easy to make lollipops. So I can't wait for you to try these coconut lemon lollipops because I'm making them that way, but you can use any extracts you want. Start off by combining your sugar, water, and corn syrup in a medium-sized sauce pot and put it over medium heat. Stir this together until it forms just like a simple syrup and then keep stirring until it boils and once it boils you want to stop stirring so then you can wash it down with a pastry brush or like I said you can do the um, lid method because when you cover a sauce pot or really anything with a lid that's cooking on the stove, uh, the condensation from the lid will leak down to make all the sugar stop recrystallizing. Re re oh my god. Um, or you can just do the wet pastry brush method, and this just helps you uh, not have the sugar recrystallize. And you want to cook the sugar to the hard crack stage, like I said before, which is about 300 degrees, 300 degrees Fahrenheit if you're using a candy thermometer. And um, yeah, but just to make sure that you know this, you can use the water method that I like to use to test when the sugar is ready, also because I don't have a candy thermometer that works right now. Once your sugar reaches the hard crack stage, which is as seen right here and in the picture before, it will just have that kind of, it won't really have a look, but when you put it and do the water test, you'll definitely see that it is the hard crack stage. You want to take it off of the heat as soon as that happens. Once you take it off of the heat, you need to add your extracts and your food coloring, and unless you just don't want your sugar to have color, which would be really super weird, but if that's what you want to do, that's fine, but it'll probably just look brown if you don't put food coloring in it. So, once you add both of those in it, and I like to add my food coloring by attaching it to the whisk, because you're going to whisk this up until all the color, um, the color is the same throughout the entire saucepan, and once it is, you can just pour it into your molds and wait for them to set, and then remove them. Mm -hmm. 